الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم So your church gives out pamphlets and flyers to try to get people to become Christian? Yeah, everybody, you know. Gotcha. You know, we try to get everybody. We don't, you know, take any, you know, take But Muslims and others, you yeah, try to... I just say, I okay. like the number of Muslims. So you're like a missionary guy missionary out there on a mission. Like that. Nice. In fact, we're going to Mexico. We're going to send about four or five hundred people to Mexico. So, in Mexico. I, got, I got a question, just because you know a lot. You're, so, yeah, you're active right. in the church. You're a missionary. Yeah. So God knows everything, right? Yeah. Right? I'm not a leader in that. I, I'm just saying. But you're a missionary. You go out and give pamphlets so and all just, that. Just, right? plain, just, like, just, just a but, regular missionary. But just, just a quick, I mean, a simple question. Does God know everything? Of course, he, God knows everything. God knows everything. That, that is from the qualities of God. If God didn't know everything, you wouldn't be God, right? Right. A God, God is watching us 24 hours a day. Agreed. Is Jesus God? Jesus is God. So I got a question. How come when it talks about the hour, Jesus says that nobody knows, not even the Son or the angels, only the Father? Right? Here, look at this. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Mark 13, 32. But you said God knows everything. And if you didn't know everything, you wouldn't be God. And then you said Jesus is God. So how could God know everything and not know? No, I just say he, he watches every he watches every move we make. Yeah. Gotcha. But but here Jesus is saying, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Right. I mean, when the, when we believe the rapture is coming, but no one knows exactly when. But God knows. Right. I mean, God knows, but we don't know. But Jesus doesn't know. No. Yeah. I, so it, Jesus can't be God then. He is. I'm just saying. I'm, okay, I, 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 but it's. Uh, uh, there are some scholars somewhere in the Middle East and Israel that know more than we do. But so, so you, 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 you're, you're, you're a missionary. You give out pamphlets. You call people to your church. You're active. You go to church. It's a very simple question. If God knows everything, then He cannot not know. And if Jesus doesn't know, then Jesus can't be God. Make sense to you? No, I'm just saying. Um, Jesus does, um, does know things. There are a lot of things sure, but, that, but that, that again, being kept secret too. So there's things that Jesus doesn't know. I then. know. In fact, yeah, in fact, I tell you the truth. I just listened to something last night um, during Saturday morning about if you go to Israel and go you, you go to these caves with Jesus and things like that, you, you probably would know more than what you what you know here. But, but we, don't, we don't need to go to caves of Jerusalem to, to ask Jerusalem. A, a basic, simple question about the nature of God. Me and you just talked and you said God knows everything. And I asked you if God doesn't know, then he wouldn't be God. You said he wouldn't because God knows everything. Then I asked you, is Jesus God? You said yes. Now I just showed you in the New Testament a verse that shows that Jesus didn't know the hour. Only, not even the angels, not the Holy Ghost, only God above, yeah. right? The Father. We believe it's the Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are the same. Oh, but God. if they're the same, then how can God know and Jesus not know? No, I just say they're, um, I say just say they're the same. You know, we don't know that. But if Jesus doesn't know the hour, then that would mean he's not God, right? He is God. Are you, are, you, are you inching away to run? <laughs> I was raised, I have to be raised in a Baptist church. It's okay. a very conservative Southern Baptist church. I got you. I, I went to Baptist Bible studies myself in Southern Baptist here in San Diego. Yeah. But in the, fact, I might even have a job with the Southern Baptist. They've been very, they've been very good to me, you know. <laughs> I mean, right, my, my church, you know, and, and Southern Baptist. Well, don't you see a heresy in your belief according to the Bible? Look, read it yourself if you like. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So if Jesus doesn't know, then he cannot be God, right? right. But I think people will know more about it um, as, the, as we get closer to the rapture. I'm knowing, some say the rapture is maybe a couple of years away. A couple of years away? 50, 60 years away. Who knows, right? 
no one knows. It's coming, the rapture, no doubt about it. But the exact day, no, the very few people on this earth know, let's say, about it. No answers. Subhanallah, you look at this Christian missionary. They came to our da'wah booth making jokes, poking fun, taunting us that they're trying to get Muslims to come to the church and convert to Christianity and how he does missionary work for the church. But when you ask him a core question, does God know everything? He had to say yes. Then we asked him, is Jesus God? He said yes. But we showed him verses from his own Bible that Jesus didn't know everything. He didn't know when the hour is. He has no answer. You see him just trying to run away. But if he's not looking for the guidance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide those that are. Those that are open-hearted, open-minded. And alhamdulillah, that same weekend, we had one shahada on Zoom. A sister became Muslim. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Al. Al. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammad, Muhammad, Abduhu, Abduhu, wa Rasulu, wa Rasulu. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Then we had two shahadas after Jum'a. Ashhadu, Allah, ilaha, illallah. Wa ashhadu, anna, Muhammad, Abduhu, wa Rasulu. Allahu Akbar! Ashhadu Ashhadu Al La Ilaha Illallah Wa Ashhadu Anna Muhammad Abduhu Wa Rasuluh Allahu Akbar! After the Jum'ah prayer, then we had one on Saturday at the Masjid. Ashhadu Allah Ilaha and then we had two this Sunday. The video you're watching is a Sunday. That Sunday we had two. Six people, alhamdulillah, in three days. Allahu Akbar. So, Give me something to read. What, what can I read? Okay, I got you. Uh, I got the Quran. You got the Quran. Excellent. That's a good beginning. Um, let's see. Do you know about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon yes. him? Uh-huh. Excellent. Here's a great one for you. My great love for Jesus led me to Islam. Oh, okay. How's that for you? I'll take this one. Are you a Baptist? Are you Catholic? I was raised as a, a, a Christian, a Baptist. Okay. But... Uh, I am leaning towards Islam because the more I hear about it, my, my son, he's converted. Excellent. And I'm listening to him, so I'd like to learn more about it. Well, we're going to talk it. about it, then you're here, oh, we're here. One. It's free. All this of it's free. Cool. Everything is free. Uh, we don't cool. charge anything. We, we None of us are paid. Wow. We come here, we do this, we collect our own money, we buy this because we believe in what we're doing. Good. So, as a Christian, when you were raised, were yeah, you, you taught? Uh, sure. Oh. I'm from Michigan. I'm here visiting my, wow, from uh, my Michigan. granddaughter. Yeah. Nice. What's your name? Aldina. A L D E A N A. Sure. Uh, this is a, the 20th. Let me just give you the... I gave you both the uh, Islamic date and the uh, Western oh, okay. date. Wow, thank you Excellent. so much. So let, let's talk real quick. So, right. so, so far, what is your belief? You believe in God, I believe. Yes. Okay. You believe God created us. He sent us with purpose. He sent us messengers. Yes. Excellent. Uh-huh. You already read some of the Quran. You read about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon yes. him. Yes. How did the Quran touch you? Well, as I, I, it, it touched me as complicated. Good. Because, because the words of Allah, it has depth to it. Yeah. yeah. But concepts like it, there's only one God. 
Make sense? Right, that makes sense. All right? Like when you were being raised as Baptist, I'm sure they told you Jesus was God, yeah, right? I never, yeah, I never. You see, me, I used to go to church, I never yeah. come, because if you yeah. look in the Bible, yeah. you'll find many places where, for example, here in John 12, uh, I'm sorry, 1249. Uh -huh. For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me okay. gave me a command, and I should say, uh, what? I should say and what I should speak. So if Jesus is God, then how does God command Jesus? Yeah, it has always been some kind of some um, uh, like conflictions. There. Exactly. And every time we ask Christians, they're like, it's a mystery. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> because they can't explain it. Yeah. And I know that his command is everlasting life. Okay, but let me ask you this. Go ahead. Like in the, um, in the Bible, it talks about Adam and Eve. Sure. Well, when uh, Cain left them he went somewhere he went to another city right so, so where they let, couldn't have been the first people here so i got you so because when he when he because supposed to been adam and eve i got and you no problem they had children mm -hmm. cain killed abel and cain went out away from them and he married so where did all these other people come sure from? So, so a lot of those stories that we went to another city these are biblical fabrications okay. We don't believe in that, right? Okay. We believe Adam and Eve were the first people. Okay. They had many children, okay. and from their children, they were trying to move in different areas, but they didn't have other cities at the time. Okay. He did leave them, but not to another city, okay. right? right? He exiled himself, and okay. then, you know, the whole, the well, whole- so he, he married his sister? So there was a lot of that going on too. I got you. So, uh -huh. so in Islam, it's not permissible to marry your sister, right? Okay. That is the rule that God the has first set. First cousins and second cousins. Cousins you can marry, okay. but that's a different issue. But in okay. the time of Adam, you don't have options. Okay. This is the beginning of yeah. creation, right? Right. right? So their rules and regulations are going to be different from ours because okay. at that time, you don't have other communities. The right. beginning. Right. Right. So, but even then, there was ways to separate between those that would be spouses. Okay. So there are some narrations that mention that those children that would be born in the daytime, right. they would marry the ones that were born at night. Really? Wow. So they would have a separation still. Okay. Right. And then once that first generation from then onwards, no more marrying of sisters, right? Okay. The first creation is going to be a little different. Like Adam, he wasn't born like us. Right. God okay. created him as he was, okay. right? Fi uh, suratihi, the, the, the hadith mentions in his own image. Like in the image of Adam, he was a grown man. Eve was from the rib or from the DNA, you could say, of Adam. Okay. Right? But now today we're not born like that because right. that's the beginning. Right. But once the beginning starts, then the rules and regulations set in place. Okay. Now, the interesting thing about beliefs, right? The belief system, right? You look at the Bible, uh, it says in John 17, verse 3, and this is eternal life that they may know you, the one only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So even according to the Bible, this is the Christian Bible. They're saying Jesus said that there's only one true God. And then he says in Jesus Christ whom he sent. He didn't include himself in that. Right? So you you have the belief that you believe in one God, right? Yes. You believe Jesus. Take anything you like. All of it's free. Please. On the plane you can enjoy. Wow. Thank you so much. This is about Adam and Eve, if you want to, oh, really? oh, <laughs> we were okay. just asking the questions wow. on that, so that'll hopefully explain some of it. Yeah. Listen, I better go because they're going to, uh, my, uh, oh, oh, you go up? Okay, I'm over here. Okay. Whenever you have to go, let us know, right? Okay. But if you have that belief that there is one God, and you believe Jesus was a prophet and Muhammad was a prophet, yes. then you're Muslim already. So that's it. That's the Muslim belief. Now your son is Muslim. He can teach you more. Yeah. We'll give you the channel. We have two channels. One Masjid Foundation, uh, Masjid Ribat. We'll give you the so you can learn more. But if you believe in one God and you believe in the Prophet Muhammad being the last Prophet and Jesus being the Son uh, in the spiritual but not in the physical. So we believe that he is only a messenger, never a physical son by any way, right? Yeah. Spiritually. You can say that in another language, maybe somebody could be referred to as a son in a term of respect, right? Okay, right. For example, today even somebody might tell you, come here, son, let me talk to you. Right? right? That might be a term of endearment, right. okay. or you could say he's my teacher, so he's like my spiritual father. Right. But never, God has no kids, right? Yeah. So if that's your belief, okay. you're Muslim already. Okay, so we're going to do the Shahada. You're going to officially be Muslim today. Is that right? That's it. Okay. You already have the belief. Your son is Muslim. Yes. You, you have your son. You want to call him? All right.
So, so you want to call your son so he can watch you? Or we'll just, we'll just let, give no, you a link. Yeah, okay, I'll we got you. All right. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to say it in Arabic. You're going to say it with me. Okay. English first or Arabic first? How do you like it? English. English. Excellent. All right. So I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. That there is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the servant. Is the servant. And messenger of Allah. And messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You're Muslim. Thank you. Say All right. it in Arabic. Arabic. Okay. Uh -huh. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Al. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. أن محمد عبده ورسوله الله أكبر. You say next time. الله أكبر. You're Muslim. Give my salam to your son. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day. Saul, can you write for her the 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 channels? Just you can just write on the book. الحمد لله الله أكبر. So Matthew, we're gonna do this. You ready? Yes. Arabic first or English first? Arabic first. Arabic first. I like you. You're brave, man. All right. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Al. La. Al. Al. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasuluhu. Wa Rasuluhu. Allah Akbar. Amazing. All right. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is a servant. Is a servant. And messenger of Allah. And messenger of Allah. Allah Akbar. There you go, man. Come give me a hug, brother. There you go, man. MashaAllah. Welcome to Islam, brother. Now you got over two billion brothers and sisters in Islam, okay? MashaAllah. Salaam alaykum wa rahmatullah. Kif halakum? Hayyakum Allah. Akramak Allah. Akramak Allah. Barak Allah. Habibi. Amantu anna al-akhirah la budda yawman atiyah kullu al-khala'iq hadirah كل السعائر بادية آمنت أن الآخرة لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السعائر بادية